when we get back to appreciating the items that we have in our home and we bring in only items that add value to us, we are less wasteful. Hey everyone, I'm Sophia Bush. I am an actress and an activist and I host a podcast because I love to dive deep on interesting topics and get all the information from the most reliable sources. And that's how we wound up here. This is Need to Know, a series designed to answer all your most pressing questions from trusted sources to give us the info we need. Over the last few episodes, I've been learning a lot about sustainability across different industries, but today we're gonna talk about how to practice what we preach right here at home. According to the EPA, the average American produces six pounds of trash per day. That's over 2,000 pounds per person per year. To talk about all of this today, we have Jean New here. She is a content creator and an expert in sustainability. I've been touching on all these major areas through this series with incredible experts like yourself. We've been talking about how we can be more environmentally conscious. I want to make my home into a place that also reflects my values. Does where we live and what kind of home we have really impact our eco footprint? It's less about where the home actually is, it's more about what you can do in your home. You can't just, you know, add solar panels to your house. Let's say you live in a low income neighborhood. Maybe you don't have access to a grocery store that has produce for one, or produce that comes packaged plastic free. So there's so many different elements that I think go into where you live in general that kind of dictate whether or not you can shop plastic free or be more sustainable. So whether we're talking about being settled in a house or in an apartment, what would you say are the places inside our homes that we can identify immediately to be more sustainable? I love this question. I think number one, looking in your trash kind of helps you determine where you are producing waste in the first place. So I know for me, when I initially started my low waste journey, I saw that I was throwing out a ton of food. I was throwing out a ton of Ziploc bags. I was throwing out all these items that I could either compost such as food or I could find a reusable alternative. So I'd like to start in the kitchen. So the kitchen, I would ditch the Ziploc bags, use what you already have first which I think is kind of the number one tip is don't throw out all your plastic use what you have already and once you're done with it you can replace it with reusable alternatives so I love using stasher bags which are reusable silicone bags they are amazing you can literally put anything in a stasher bag you can freeze it you can put it in the dishwasher and although it's an investment up front it actually saves you money in the long run yeah. I just put my compost in the freezer in a brown paper bag and I can either take it to a farmer's market and there's also ways for you to make compost at home as well and so you can turn that into soil which then you can make your own cute little garden which I have been doing. And then when it comes to bathroom, I use bamboo toilet paper that comes shipped to me plastic free and bamboo is a lot more sustainable than cutting down trees and bamboo is softer than recycled toilet paper but if you want to go away way out you can also get a bidet <laughs> <laughs> and then when it comes to uh, furniture or more so like home design buying secondhand is the most sustainable thing you can do you're taking something out of the waste stream and you're also not going out and buying something new what do you think is the best investment that you've ever made in your home when I hear the term investment, that automatically goes to money. But for me, it's also investment of time. Mm. There's two answers to that question. But I think one is just educating myself. Now that I know better, I have to do better. And then in terms of like an actual investment, it's also still more of a time thing. It's just building out my own little patio garden. I think it's so powerful mm -hmm. to regrow your own food. You can regrow right yep. in your kitchen. I think just finding ways to bring in less products in your home is amazing. Like now I don't have to go out and buy green onions because I can yeah. just grow them at home and it's saving me a ton of money as well. Totally. If I can regrow my own food, like there is no carbon footprint, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah. It's so awesome. I feel super inspired. Thank you so much for joining us today.